Stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. I'm super excited to be sharing projects with you from now until pretty close to Christmas as part of the Santa's Little Elves design team. And today I'm going to show you a great gift idea. This is just beautiful. A decorated acetate box and matching cards that you can make in a jiffy and give to your family and friends for the holidays. So let's get started and I'll show you how to do this. We are going to make up the cards first. And we're gonna make four matching cards. We're using the Colorful Seasons stamp set, the Foil Snowflakes, the Clear Faceted Gems. I've got this beautiful lace trim here and also the powder pink glimmer ribbon. And I know this is really hard to see on camera, but this has a glimmer or glitter, almost glitter. It's not really glitter, but it's a glimmer in this ribbon. This comes in black, pink, and one, oh, and I think soft sky or pool party, but it's just gorgeous. So when I'm making up gifts like this, you wanna go with the assembly line technique. And I'm gonna go through my card layers here. These are for our stamping and die cutting. And I just got four pieces of very vanilla card stock that is two and a half by three and a half. And you could just use a sheet if you wanted to, but I've got these cut for video purposes. It's just easier. I'm also using our Mary Music Specialty Designer Series paper here. This paper is really neat. It's got musical notes for the most part on it. It's black and white, and it's thinner than most of our designer series paper. You get a whole bunch in a pack too. Let's see, let me see how many pieces you get. You get 24 sheets in a pack with this paper. Here's a little sample of it. It's found on page 13 in the mini catalog. Oh, I love the black here too. Very fun, and black and white, of course, is a classic for any type of cards that you're making. But I love the snowflakes that are on here. Gorgeous, gorgeous paper. Four sheets of each design. So this is a must-have in my book. These pieces are two by five and a quarter, and then I've got four pieces of powder pink that are four by five and a quarter. Four pieces of very vanilla. This is for the inside of the card that are also four by five and a quarter. Our crumb cake card base, four of those at five and a half by eight and a half. And then I've also got four very vanilla envelopes here. So we have Whisper White and Very Vanilla, and I love making my projects match, right? That's, that's kind of what we do. So, working in an assembly line pattern here, I am going to close my mouth and speed up the camera a little bit through some of this. So you can still see what I'm doing, but it won't get monotonous. We're gonna do a little bit of sponging on our designer series paper. And the reason why we're doing that is because it's going to tone down the white and it's gonna make it look a little vintage. So I've got my sponges here with crumb cake ink and I'm just going to add some crumb cake ink to the front of this piece, like I said, just to make it a little vintagey and tone it down. Do you guys have your sponges marked with each color? Let me show you this. This is so funny. This is my bin of sponges and they all have their little color labels on them so I can reach in here and go, oh, here's Peekaboo Peach and here's an old color <laughs> and here's Cajun Craze. So these are all my sponges. used to be that we sponged everything. But now I'm just gonna do this to make this vintage. We don't sponge as much anymore. All right, I'm gonna speed up the camera so you don't have to sit here bored to death watching me sponge. I'm 
Notice this is kind of a messy process as far as it looks messy on the paper. I'm not getting messy, but you don't want to rub the whole front of it. You just want to give it a little bit of aging, I guess is a good way to put it. Once you're done with the crumb cake, we're going to bring in our powder pink and we're gonna do a little sponging with that. So again, I'm gonna speed up the camera so you don't get bored to tears. And with this pink, I'm more rubbing it on the front of the card or DSP layer more than anything else. So you can see just a little faint touch of pink in these layers. And now we're going to take the powder pink layers and we're gonna do some stamping. I've got basic gray here. And again, I'm using the Colorful Seasons stamp set. When I'm using two different colors for something like this, the snowflakes, what I do is I choose the darker color to be the smaller image and the lighter color to be the bigger image. That just seems to balance your card out a little better. And I always start with my bigger image, and this is very faint, and you're gonna randomly stamp these images on your card front. Okay, we have these ready to go. Next, I'm going to stamp the greeting that we're going to die cut. I just grabbed a sentiment from the Snowflake Sentiments. Well, there you go. Merry Christmas from our family to yours. I'm going to stamp that in our basic gray ink. Now I'm going to die cut all of these with our layering oval framelit. I'll be right back. Okay, and here are all our greetings die cut and ready for a little sponging. We're going to sponge these with crumb cake and the powder pink. So I'm not going to sponge the whole side with crumb cake, just randomly around the edges. And now the pink, I'm doing it a little bit thicker on the edges because it doesn't show up as much. And there we go. These are ready. I'm going to get a brand new pack of dimensionals out here. And add a couple to the back of each of these. I'm going to set these aside so we can start assembling our cards. One last thing that I need to get ready here are our foil snowflakes. These come in silver and gold, oh my. You get 12 of each, so 24 in a pack. We're making four cards and we need a half a snowflake for each card, so I'm gonna cut two of these in half. And I know I've told you this before, but just in case you're new, the opposite side of the foil is just a plain color here like it's almost vanilla you can sponge any color you want onto here and make these foil snowflakes any color that you need so that's really cool this we're gonna save for our acetate box and we are ready to start assembly here first thing I'm gonna do is adhere my designer series paper to the right side of my pink layer there we go, here comes our glue. Make sure that you put your designer series paper right side up on the left side here because it does have words on it and you want them to be right side up. Next, I'm gonna come in with the crochet trim and I've got my tape here. Oops, I'm almost out of tape. I'm gonna have to refill that. We're gonna tape this right down next to that designer series paper. I'm gonna do that to all four layers. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, so pretty. Now that we have that done, we're going to put our foil snowflakes on. I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to the back here. And those are going to go right in the middle of our card. Perfect. Now we can glue these onto our crumb cake base. We're going to use 14 and a half inches of ribbon, so I need four of those. What do you guys think about this speed it up version? Would you rather have me speed up the video or would you rather hear me yakety yakking about crazy stuff going on in my life? <laughs> I know sometimes that can be quite amusing. Now we're just going to take this ribbon and we are going to zigzag it back and forth. So I'm going to cut the ends at a nice slant. And we're going to go like this. And the nice part about this ribbon is that it's the same on both sides. So that's pretty nice. You don't have a front and a back. Come in here with some tape and tape that down. And next we're going to bring in our greeting on the front. Oh my gosh, isn't that pretty? I love it. And now that I'm doing this, I think I need to add dimensionals to the top and the bottom up here to make sure that this doesn't stick to the ribbon and perhaps fall off. We don't want that to happen. So I'm just going to add a couple more. And well, when I pay for them, I can put as many of them on as I want, right? <laughs> Okay, these are ready to roll. Don't want them to stick together. Here we go again. Tape that down and bring in my greeting. I do like that secured better like that. Two more to go here. Ribbon on cards in this zigzag pattern is very popular right now. You'll see it a lot online. Last but not least, I'd like to add one of these faceted gems to the front. We're going to just put that right over here. And isn't that pretty? Beautiful! I shouldn't say last but not least because we've got inside layers that I would like to decorate also a little bit. And I think the perfect decoration would be a few of the snowflakes. What do you think? I think we'll do a pink one. And then we'll come in, whoops, that's crumb cake. We don't want that. We want basic gray. Maybe do a little one like that. I like that. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the envelopes. Oh my gosh, these are just delicious, aren't they? Love, love, love. Okay, we've got our matching envelopes here. Let's do a box to put them in. We need to make something pretty. So, what I've got here 
is two by 11 inches on the designer series paper and then two and a quarter by 11 inches on the powder pink. That's gonna be our belly band. And then I've got a piece of powder pink that is two and a half by three and a half and very vanilla that's two and a half by three and a half. We're gonna use this to stamp our greeting on. We're gonna use the same greeting that we put on our cards. Stamp that right in the middle. I'm going to die cut with the layering oval and then the scallop oval to put a layer under that. So I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. And just like we did on our cards, we are going to add a little crumb cake and a little powder pink to make this look vintagey. little old, weathered. Ooh, that looks pretty. Now for our acetate box. These come 10 to a pack for $6.50 and all you do is put them together. I shouldn't even say put them together. You just fold on the lines. They're already scored for you and ready to go. So I'm going to, oh, I think I'll wait on that. I am going to adhere my designer series paper to my yellow, or my yellow, to my pink belly band. Gosh, this, oh shoot, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to sponge. Did you guys catch that? Let's get some sponging in here. I'm just gonna go like this to tone this down a little bit and make it match our cards. We don't want it to be stark white. And I think I can get away with this, but if I were you, I'd do it before <laughs> you glue your paper onto the pink cardstock. Now I'm just going to come in here with some pink, tone down those white parts. I know this is really hard to see what this is doing on camera, but let me tell you, it's really pretty in real life. All right, now we're ready. This is going to be the front of my box, so... I like my lid to go this way. I'm just going to center this and then I'm going to grab this and fold it over. If you want, you can give it a good burnish with your bone folder. I'm going to put it back up here. There's nothing real scientific about this. I'm just bending it over the edges of the box. If you wanted to, you could measure and score, but I'm, I think this is just easier. Make sure this is pulled nice and snug, and we're going to do our bend. Pull that off. And we need one more. One more fold line here. There we go. The reason why I keep taking this back off is because I want to make sure that when these pieces are bent over, they're straight. They're not skewed like that because that's going to give you a much nicer finished product. Okay, and what are we going to use to glue this together in the back? Oh my gosh, it's already pretty. We are going to use some tear tape, which is right here. Tear tape is a great product to use for boxes also, as is glue, but I think this is going to work better for us. And this is like sticky strip that you can tear. So it's pretty cool stuff. Let's see, I'm gonna have this go together just like that. So I'm gonna put my tear tape right here. And then once you push it down good, it works if you works better for me to use a pokey tool and peel up the backing. And then we're gonna add this to our box just like that. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Now if you want to keep this on here, here's what I would do. I would take a little piece of tear tape and I'm going to add it to my acetate box, just like this. Peel that backing off. And now I'm gonna kinda push in my box a little bit while I slide my belly band into place. 
and now that's going to stay there so it's not going to slide off if you didn't get it tight enough. All right, so, oh, I was going to say, I don't know what I did with that snowflake, but here that thing is. So I'm going to put this down right here. Just put some glue on there. Oh my gosh, is this pretty? And then we're going to put some dimensionals on the back of our oval. That's ready to roll and we need some ribbon now. I'm just gonna cut this off. 14 and a half inches will work here for you, but I'm just going to weave mine back and forth and then cut it because I don't know what I did with my ruler and I forgot to cut this one. So there we go, just like that. And again, I'm just gonna tape this in place with regular tape. Do my little zigzaggy thing here. Add my label right to the middle and I'm going to put one more gem on there. I'm going to use a bigger gem on the box because I can. <laughs> I like to say that. One of my Stampin' Up! friends said she watched my video and she laughed because I said, because I can. Okay, you guys, look at how pretty these are. Oh my gosh, who is going to love getting these? I'm going to put my envelopes back to back with my cards so that I have something pretty on the back here too. And this is four cards and four envelopes. They will fit in this box nice and snugly. So there's a new word, snugly so that your loved one knows they're getting a good, substantial gift. That um, little tab that's in the bottom there is kind of giving me a problem on putting these in here, but there we go. Just keep working at it. Ooh, how pretty is this? I love it when I can finish a project. This was really simple, and that assembly line is a great way to do a project like this. And this is heavy, you guys. Like this has some substantial weight to it. Beautiful, beautiful gift. Now, when would I give this? I would probably give this gift as um, before Christmas. Like secret, you have secret Santa stuff. Um, if somebody does something nice for you at work, you could just set this on their desk and tell them thank you. And then they could use these four cards to send to their special loved ones or friends. So it's kind of a neat idea. It's a great little thank you gift for somebody who's done something nice for you. Again, I use the Colorful Seasons. And I also wanted to show you, Colorful Seasons comes in a bundle with the seasonal layer thinlets. This is the one with the Adrianda chair in it and the big branch and the beautiful leaf. If you don't have this yet, you really need to get it. It's a must have for any stamper. The other thing that's in here is three different snowflakes. So you've got all four seasons in here. Three different snowflakes, and I did die cut these just so we can see what they look like. I didn't use them on this project, but oh my gosh, they're beautiful, and I will be using them on future projects. So watch for those to be coming. But you've got snowflakes, you've got summer, fall, winter, and spring in here. And I also have, I believe it's a 14 card tutorial that I give to anybody who orders this bundle from me. So if you do happen to go online and place an order, you will get a 14 card tutorial that I'll send to you via email. And um, you'll have 14 different ideas, well 15 now, using this bundle. So if you don't have a Stamping Up! Demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. You can pop me an email at kelly at a stamp above.com. This is my website. You can go over there. You're going to find lots of great projects on there. I do a couple of videos every week. And watch next Friday because um, the design team will have another fabulous project coming out for you. Make sure you click down here in the corner and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss anything. I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much for coming and watching my video.
I wish you a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.